First at 6 tonight, new details from the Independent Commission's final report on the Lewiston mass shooting, which left 18 people dead. That report shows that the shooter's family was hitting roadblocks when they tried to report his erratic behavior to the Army Reserve. The I-team's Dan Lamparello is at the live desk for us where those breakdowns were and where they happened and the response to those, Dan. Well, Greg, that report from the Independent Commission, which was released yesterday, gave us a lot of new insight into the failures related to Army Reservist Robert Card's mental health care. And one piece that stood out was how Card's family claims they tried getting him help but struggled to find the right resources. Now, as we've reported, Card was voluntarily committed to a psychiatric hospital in New York for two weeks last summer after displaying threatening behavior to towards his reserve unit. But months before that, the report shows his sister tried getting information about Card's declining mental health state to his army commanders, but struggled to find proper resources online and was also allegedly told by a VA crisis line worker not to report some of what she knew. I felt deeply troubled and felt helpless on June 3rd, 2023 when a VA crisis worker advised me to not inform the command about my brother's delusions of being called gay or a pedophile. While I didn't believe these accusations to be true, the thought of him potentially facing harassment or differential treatment due to these accusations was distressing. Now, in response to the report and Hurling's claims, the Department of Veterans Affairs tells the I-Team in a statement, whenever a veteran or family member reaches out to the Veterans Crisis Line, our goal is to provide them with the care and support that they need in that moment. While we cannot comment on individual cases due to privacy laws, we thoroughly investigate concerns and take all appropriate action to ensure the veterans and family members are fully supported. Now, the goal of the Independent Commission's work was to help establish facts surrounding the shooting and hopefully guide future change. But again, they never had any formal recommendations as part of their report. We did reach out to Maine Senator Susan Collins for her thoughts on this, but haven't heard back. Senator King's office didn't want to comment on this specific section of the report. For the I-Team, I'm Dan Lamparello. Steph? All right, Dan, we'll continue to follow. Thank you.